I'm Kristen Mineo, and you're watching The Pop Fix. We all know the feeling of, well, being single. Feeling like we're losers alone on a Sunday night, watching Can't Hardly Wait or Love Actually and feeling like Bridget Jones. Yup, here at The Pop Fix, we get it. You're safe in the Pop Fix nest. We're here to answer the holy grail of questions. How do I get a boyfriend? Welcome to Bad Vice, the show that gives you good advice from questionable ladies. And this week's episode is dedicated to answering that question. On this week's episode of Bad Vice, we're gonna tell you how to get a boyfriend. Please take all advice at your own risk. We are not licensed relationship therapists. In fact, I'm single, again. Step one, social media flirting. Stalk him on social media. Create an alias and follow him on Twitter. Retweet him, favorite him, even if it's a completely personal and irrelevant tweet. Use a different fake name and follow him on Instagram. Look at every picture, favorite all of them. Use the social media knowledge to stalk him in real life. He says he's going to Saddle Ranch. First of all, internally judge him for going to Saddle Ranch. Forgive him and then find him. Oh, weird, didn't know you'd be here. What a funky coincidence. Fun! Let's take a picture together and post it on Facebook, Instagram, and tweet it. Warning, now that you know everything about him, including where he was born, the names of all of his family members, his high school, college, major, interests, common pastimes, favorite color, every girl he's dated, and what shirt he wears in most of his pictures, it's time to forget all of it. There's always a small chance that you see him in person for the first time and say something ridiculously awkward. Hey, whoa, hey. I didn't know you'd be at Saddle Ranch. Okay. How's Cindy? My mom? Yeah, I saw she got out of the hospital. I'm sorry, do I know you? Oh, I must have uh, seen it on Facebook. I was just looking and... Uh, I, I only posted that on Twitter, so... Right, I follow a lot of guys named Mark, so it just probably happened by accident. Okay, well, uh, see you around. Does he buy it? Step two, let's get physical. Sleep with him. On your first date. I don't mean after dinner when you go back to his place. I mean at dinner. Tell him you want to make love at the restaurant. <laughs> Guys love it when you say make love. We do? Makes them feel masculine. Suggest under the table or even in the bathroom. That's super hot and the restaurant won't mind. Especially really fancy ones or Chipotle. I do like Chipotle. And while you're making love in a bathroom stall or in the coat closet, make animal noises, especially like a monkey. <laughs> Guys love it when you purr and meow like a cat, or hee-haw like a donkey. Nothing says love me forever like the bleat of a goat during intimate moments. Who likes Chipotle? Like a monkey. <laughs> when you're with your crush, touch him a lot. Try to massage him. Make an effort to hold his hand at all times. And while walking, spoon him from behind like a baby koala on a mama's back. Guys love that kind of attention and affection. Why are we doing this again? It's for intimacy. This is weird. Oh, but it feels so right. Trust falls. Incorporate a trust fall at the beginning of every date. Knowing that he's there to catch you physically will ensure that he'll be there when you fall emotionally. <sighs> are you falling? In love. Step three, whisper sweet nothings. The more info, the better. They say honesty is the first step towards intimacy. On your first date, talk about how much he reminds you of your dad or brother, or even an ex. Similar hair color, the way they hug you, their natural scent, or even their shoe size. He'll see that you have attention to detail and that you're really paying attention to him. Also, make sure to mention all of your exes and why you broke up with them. It will show that you're really committed to love. Tell him all of your deepest, darkest secrets and all of your baggage. Let him know that your mom is an alcoholic, your dad skipped out when you were a kid and you have abandonment issues. Let him know that you're in debt and looking for a sugar daddy. Tell him your relationship expectations when he picks you up for your first date. Guys love to hear that you want to be married within one year and have your first baby within the next three years. Say I love you when he drops you off after your first date. It works every time. Step four, let your emotions be your guide. Cry. Cry a lot. Just cry all the time. About nothing. <laughs> are, are you okay? See, he just fell in love with me. Get really angry about absolutely nothing. Just be mad at him. He called you? That's bull****. He 
told you that you're pretty? Why didn't he call you beautiful? He took you to the nicest restaurant in town, but it wasn't your favorite restaurant. How could he be so unthoughtful and selfish? Anger is the anchor of passion. Trust me. Pretend that you love sports. Guys love that. While he's watching sports, ask as many questions as possible to show that you're really interested. And at key moments of the game, distract him with an intimate moment. Oh, honey, you're watching your favorite football team, the Absolutely. Dodgers. Oh, wait, wait, so why does that guy throw that ball left? Oh, come on, wait, you can't that make that play. Wait, I, why, is it, why is he running in, cir why is he running in a circle? He gets paid a lot of money to do Wait, that. but he's so running the other way now. Why is that? It's, it's, that's I'm, the defense. I'm pretty sure, aren't you the supposed to, goes. isn't there a bat in football? Why, why does no one have There's a bat? There's no, no bat in football. Try to kiss him or even straddle him so he can only see you and not the TV. Um, oh, it's okay, honey. Oh, is, is that that's that's important, right? That's they're gonna yeah. do a touchdown pass, right? Is that? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. This is an example of how a great relationship should be. Oh, honey, you look so good today. Thank you, Muffin. You look hot. Did you just call me Muffin? Yeah, is that is that a bad word? You know I don't like to be called Muffin. Pookie, I am so sorry. Oh so God, Pookie. Oh, oh. Okay, I made it weird. I'm sorry. You're right. No, 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 no. I don't like when you do that. That's weird. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, f you. Oh, my God. I'm, oh, you're disgusting. I can't believe I ever dated you. You don't even, you don't even smell right. I don't even know what your face is. How dare you? I am the hottest girl you've ever dated. The hottest girl in the world. Where'd you go? Honey, honey, I, let's cool the cuddle. Oh. <laughs> if all else fails. Date your ex. Not only do you know how to successfully trick a guy into being your boyfriend, but more importantly, you know how to do it with finesse. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bad Vice. If you want videos like this and questionable tips and tricks on how to win at life, leave a comment and let us know what you think. Until next time, what's your fix?